Today we're going to be starting with the send out. I want you guys to work where you are with your dog. I know each dog is going to be at a slightly different stage. We're going to have one person loading and then you're going to be working on sending your dog and having your dog come back if you can into the heel position. So guide them back when they're coming towards you. Get them in the perfect heel position. Aim. If you want to add the command, if you're ready to add the command, feel free to add the command. If you don't want to add the command yet and you want to take away a little bit of the pressure of reinforcing a stay, then you can just use physical cues. Really dependent on where you are. Do you have any questions before we start? Not really. Okay, cool. So start as close as you need to. If you're good to start 10 feet away for your first one, that's fine. If you need to start right next to it, that's fine as well. So we have a target, a destination for our dogs to go to. That's where the treat's going to be. Um, Tim, you got a treat. Where are you I starting? How close? And it's a good opportunity to practice the perfect heel position too. Yeah, yeah. I will give him this one for free. So load it after this, Tim. Okay, okay. cool. Um, very good. Praise him back. And this should go pretty fast with each dog. Okay. Very nice. And you can also work on having him look back up at you when you move your hand away. And so we see when his puppy looks up, if your puppy does that, you Good. can mark and reward that as well. So your dog knows, okay, if you're not aiming at something, I should be looking up at you, but the moment you aim, I want to look in that direction. Oops. Very nice. Good. Lots Good. of praise back. Good. You can definitely Good. increase the distance. Good. Now, is this a higher value than what you have in your hand? No. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a higher value. I would have the higher value on you. On me? Right now, I, don't know, I don't know if he will run for a kibble. I mean, if you have other something else. Let's, let's, let's uh, mix it up. Sometimes we'll do a hot dog piece. Sometimes it'll be kibble. So he won't hmm. really know. But coming back to you, yeah. have the higher value reward because he's so focused yeah, on yeah. wanting to go there. Last time that him. I worked, I mean, usually when I do this, I have hot dog and hot dog. I'll and do that too. Both that's of fine. Them, both of them is fine. Yeah. Do hot dog and hot dog then. Right What's that? He's got, he's got the meat. It's uh, chicken. I'll have the chicken or the doesn't matter. Higher value on you though, right? Both are high value for if, him. Yeah, if they're both high value, that's fine. And this is the art of dog training. We adjust according to each dog okay. that we're working with. So if we start to notice something, okay. we adjust for that specific thing that we're dealing with. What's Because he's excited to get that hot dog piece. Very nice. You getting them straight? Good. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. I like, I like how he's um, responding on the command too. Can. Can. Good. Good. Yeah. Very nice. Lots of Get praise back. Um, Watch the Can. 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 Get him. Get him. Get him. Very nice. Baba. And I want you to determine how many uh, reps you're going to do based on what your dog can handle. What's? Okay, nice. let's go. I would move back a okay. little bit more. Okay. Instead of going towards him, yeah, move back to encourage him to come to you. There you go. Okay. Nice save. Again. Okay, let's go. Again. Okay. How many more you think you got in? Okay, let's go. I mean, we can probably go at least a couple of times because he's still excited. But I think maybe maybe next time he'll start to go a little bit. Once to he search. gets to it, I would I would increase your praise and excitement to get him to come back to you and then move away. Mm -hmm. Instead of towards him. I got you. What's? Very good. 
חוץ. Very nice. כלב טוב, רם, כלב טוב. That's it, I think we're good. כלב טוב. Is that good or are you doing another one? Yeah, I think we're okay. That's good? All right, nicely done. So right now in this situation, the puppy clearly wants the food. So if James aims and says run, even if the puppy doesn't fully know yet, he's going to run for the tree. So okay. go ahead and aim with your, get, keep, get him to sit, stay. You don't have to worry about a command either. Okay. Just anytime he goes, just have him sit. So here, you mind if I help real quick? Okay. So I would take the treat, guide him into position. I can even place myself there right now. Have him sit. Let me get one of your treats. He's not interested in what I have. He's used to hot dog, that's why. <laughs> and then I'm gonna aim. If he gets up, we just calmly bring him back. We take our time. Remember, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Run! Now he goes. So just wait till he's in that position, then yeah, puppy, 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 good boy, very nice. High pitch praise. We get the reload. I'm hooking him up with treats while he waits. I stop, I aim. He's looking at the dog, so I'm not gonna send. Run! And now I sent him. And because he wants to go, yeah! And excellent. Right back in the heel position. Let me fix this leash. And then all I'm doing, nice slow movements. I'm switching hands. I'm aiming. Run. And because he wants to go, he's going to go when you say okay. run. Yay, good boy. Very good. And then again, guide him back into the heel position. <clears throat> Got it? Yes. All right. Excellent. And look, I just gave him bites that whole time. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. So let's just focus on... Psst, psst. Come on. Sorry, my talking distracted him. Run. And he's Good going. boy. So Come on. Even... Good dog. Good boy. Good boy. You don't even have Good to go dog. with him because we know he wants okay. the food. So what you're really doing is giving him permission to go. And then praise, good praise, boy, praise. Good boy. Good dog. Good boy. Very good. Good boy. Yes. Try yes, to get out that high boy. pitch voice. Good Don't boy. Be good dog. <laughs> Got him back. Come on. Come on. And I see what you're doing. You're waiting for him to look at the target. If you realize you're a little too far for him, then you can get a little closer. This might be too far for him. Okay. Use the Come food on. to guide him. Come on. That could have been an opportunity to work on healing forward. Come on. There we go. Run. Excellent. Good boy. Lots good dog. Praise. Good boy. Good boy. Good dog. Come on. Come on. Yes. Very good. Much good better. Boy. Looking good, James. Run. Come on. There you go. Just good walk boy. with him all the way. There he goes. Good dog. Praise. Good boy. So we good know boy. that one was a little too far, so let's stay a little closer right now for him. Run. Excellent. Good boy, good dog. Good boy, good boy, good dog. Let me let me hear good your high boy. pitch voice, James. I'm Wee! working on it. <laughs> Run. Good boy, good boy. Right, good dog, hear, hey, good puppy. boy. Come on, puppy, puppy. Yeah, yeah good go. boy, <laughs> good dog. Yes, good boy, good dog, good boy. He dropped one. So get his attention so he's not floor surfing. Come on. If we notice our dog starts to floor surf, we want to pull their focus Run. away from that back on us. Good dog. Good boy. Good boy. Good dog. Yes. Good boy. Good dog. Try to get him in a perfect heel. Okay. Get him nice and straight. Work on that power steering. So marking him looking back up at you, that was yes. good. Nice. Try not to pair those markers. Once he looks, send him. Run. And there you go. Good boy. Yay. Good dog. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. What do you think? One more or you want to do a few more? Last one. All right. Make sure you don't catch him with the leash if you're stepping on it. Okay. Bring him come back on. with the food. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, boy. Come on. Good boy. Good dog. Yes, good See boy. See how you're getting a little crooked there. Let's straighten it out. 
Come on. Every time you're bringing your dog into heel position, you should be working on making them as straight as possible. There you go. Run. Good boy. Good boy. Good, good boy. good boy. good boy. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Good boy. You yes. notice when you increase good your boy. voice to a little bit of a higher pitch, you see a different response from the dog. Yeah. And we think about that. Good boy. My thought process is when dogs play and they're happy and excited, what noise do they make? They good make boy. a high pitched sound. Good boy. Good dog. When they're upset or they good want doggy. you to stay away, good what do doggy. they do? They growl. They have good a deeper boy. voice. So that's why I try to always bring out that high pitched voice because we see usually better results and a response from the dog. Any questions, James? No, none at this time. All right, nice All right. work. Who's next? We. So aim once he's looking, then go ahead and send him. And this is one of those exercises that if he really wants the treat that's on the bowl, mm -hmm. when you notice he understands that's where he's going, then you could add the command. Because again, if a dog wants to do something and we say a word or sound that sounds like a command, the dog is going to go do it. They're like, oh, I heard something that means a command, I think. Good. And that's why his puppy was responding when I said, um, run. So, and if you're having a hard time getting the focus, Good. you can go right into sending. So instead of waiting, good, big praise, load up real quick. Bring him back. Once he's in position, send him again. So he understands what we're doing. So get him right back into heel. Aim and send. Don't even wait. Just aim and send. There you go. Good. Go Praise him back. This way, this way, this We're way, just trying way. to get him to understand the pattern. He goes to the bowl go. where the food is, and he comes back into heel position. Go boy, when you have him boy. come back, you can work on your flip finish or your buy finish. Either one. Yes. Go Good. Aim and send. There you go. Nice. And then go praise boy, and bring him back. Woo. Once he starts locking in on the target, then you know you can add the command. Very nice. Yes. Very good. Go okay. boy, jump, 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 jump. And since we're not using a command, the dog's not breaking any rules. That's one of the nice things about starting an exercise without a command because we don't have to worry about reinforcing the stay. Yes. Good boy. Very nice. Ooh, Chapo could have a prance. Did you see <laughs> I that think little, I see that little bit, yeah. This way. And I probably would have just boy. let him go there because he's mm. locked onto the target. And he's not on a stay command right now, so. See, now he's looking at you for approval to go. Yes. Chapo. Very good. Go boy, Chapo. Yes. Aim and send. Yes. Ooh. And then run back and praise him. Yes, Chapo. There we go. Excitement. Get him to want to flip into heel position. It's fun. Dog training's fun. <laughs> there you go. Good. Go boy, Chapo. And then go ahead and aim and send. Whoop. There you go. Nice. Good boy. Yes. There we go. Woo! Go for it, Chapo! This way, this way, this way. And then probably a couple more. Should be good. One or two more. What do you think? Go, boy, Chapo. Go, boy. Yeah, go, boy. Yes. And that's normal. Sometimes a dog will think we're asking Woo! him to do it down. Come on, Chapo. Yeah, good, one oh more, boy. and that should be good for him. We don't want to yes. give the dogs too many treats on the first exercise. Woo! Lots of praise. Boy, nice and done. Good boy, good boy, good boy. 
Yeah, so for him right now, I would just want to get him to understand where the target mm -hmm. is, coming back into heel position, then going right back to the target. Okay. Once he starts locking in on it oh, the way that James's dogs was, mm -hmm. then you can ask him to stay. Point, he's going to be staring at it when he's locked onto the target, telling him run at that point, in his mind is like, oh, I can go, because he mm -hmm. wants to go. Okay, awesome. So when a dog wants to do something, adding a word to get them to do it becomes very easy. Got you it. know, if you have a tug in front of a dog and the dog wants to bite the tug, you can say anything in a command style voice and the dog will bite it. You can go taco and dog bites it, you know, because they're yes. waiting for that opportunity to go. Okay. But looking nice. Awesome. Any questions? Uh, I think just more practice. Yeah, yeah, we haven't really been practicing the, the send out. It's all right. So. This is an easy one and they figure it out pretty quickly. Awesome. Thank all you. All right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. Okay. So now there's nothing there. And then when you send him, I'm going to place it down. Ready? Can I have him here? Yeah, that's fine for right now. We can separate it and work on one thing at a time. There, once you tell them. Run. Good boy. There we go. And then we got the treats. What are we using? Good boy. And then just aim Ready? and send. Free. Praise him to come back. Come Bobby, come on, Will. You got it. Let's go. Come on. Good boy. Ready? Free. There we go. Praise him back. Come on. Ready? All right. Good boy. Free. Come on. Willow. Are you able to guide him into the heel position? I'll try right now, yeah. Ready? 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 Free. Come on. Make sure you're not saying free when he's pulling on the leash, though. Because I think on that last one, he was already pulling a little bit. There was pressure on the leash, and okay. then he said free. So in his mind, he may be thinking that he's being rewarded for pulling on the leash. Okay. There we go. Now just Ready? aim and... There we go. Nice. We're getting it now. All right. Willow. 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 Hey, ADD puppy. No big deal. Ready? 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 This is a big one. Come on. And free. Very nice. Ready? 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 And run. There you go. All right, we'll work on that Good one more boy. a little bit later. All right, who's next? Nice. Ready? I see. I see. Ready? Search. Yes. Very nice. Good big girl. Run. Good girl. Looking good. <laughs> Look good. All right, drum roll, please. <laughs> Side. And that one you noticed? Yep. If you catch yourself doing it, you can call it out. I do that all the time. I go, oops, I paired it. Search. So go with her. She needs help. Just Search. keep going. Just keep going. Keep Search. going with her. Search. Good girl, good girl. And you don't, you don't have to repeat the command. If you have your dog and you're getting ready to send and you say search and she does what she did, I would just run all the way. Okay. And take her there, help her out. Okay. But you don't have to repeat the command though. You can if you want, but it's not necessary. Good job, let's go. And she could have a prance too. Really? Yeah, she was prancing right there as you were running. Okay, let's go. Search. You're so close. All the way there. Just go all the way there. You yes. Go. Yes. So that okay. might be a little too far. So let's do one close one and end on a good win. Okay. You ready? Side. Side. There you go. You caught it that time. At a high value. Ready? Search. Yes. Okay. Very nice. So yeah, that's this is a common issue. If your dog ends up becoming confused, just go with them and help them out. They'll start to figure out the pattern. And once you say search, what have you entered? A the reinforcement event. The reinforcement event ends when what happens? When he complies. When the dog completes the behavior. That's when it officially ends. But yes, when they comply, you don't have to assist as needed. So right there, if my end goal is that the dog gets to the target 
and I say search and the dog stops halfway, I'm still in that reinforcement event. I'm just gonna go with them and help them out. That's gonna be the same thing that you'll see when we start doing retrieval training. If you've seen the video that I did with Ari retrieving a, a drink from the fridge, there was a few times where I told her bring, halfway she got confused and I was like, it's right over here, sweetie. Go ahead. <laughs> so that, that's a real common thing we're gonna see. Uh, any questions? Can so, I do one more? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Come on, sweets. Come on, sweets. Side. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, so if he's using it to increase the speed of the dog coming back, it's perfectly fine. Yep. Yeah. Is it better or worse in any, in any way to, to do that from, or rather than a regular heel? Randomizing it is always good. A lot of times I like them to come right back to me, but there are times where I'll do a recall, and the moment the dog makes the decision to come in my direction, I'll use a terminal marker and I'll throw the reward behind me, just like Kevin's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to increase that speed. So randomizing it. So then when you call your dog to you, your dog's like, there's going to be something you're going to throw. Right. And then they have a really nice speed. But then when you start doing a recall, you don't want them coming in so fast, they're plowing into you, right? But then we adjust when we get to that point. So we're always having to adjust to get the final picture that we want. Does that answer the question? So I also have a question too in that regard. Uh, so we're, we're building the motivation to get her to go. Is it good to introduce the, the target prior to starting the training? Like, so she knows, okay, yeah. there's something good here and then we can do the engagement and then go straight to it. Yeah, and after you've been doing this enough, she should know the game once you get set up. She should be like, oh, there's a reward out there. And then she's ready to go. But that's why when we always start, we do start very close once the dog starts to understand the game. So I would probably, if I were to bring out, let's say Ari or Charlie to do this, I would show it to them, be like, hey, this is what we're doing. Bring them back and start sending them. Okay. Does that answer the question? Yes, sir. It sure does. Oh, but do have a follow-up. Is that okay? You want to go? So I'm pairing a lot now where I, when I first started, I was very conscious of it, mm -hmm. but I'm getting her just on physical cues. And, you know, I, I guess, is that, is that the end goal for what we're doing is to just physical cues and the dog responding? End goal is always verbal. Oh, is it verbal? Because verbal is significantly more difficult. You can take a dog day one and get them doing everything if it's food motivated. I can get a dog to sit down, stand, spin, heel, center, flip, all those things just using a food lure. So the difficult part is getting them to do it on the verbal command alone. So if you could just stand there, she goes out and you go, heel, and she runs and jumps in position, that's way more difficult than, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's much, much more difficult. Same thing when we're doing a uh, hand signal. So if we're doing hand signal into a down, this is way more difficult than luring the dog because it's almost the opposite of that. So the dog has to see it as a command. And that's how we would treat it because a command can be physical or verbal. But yeah, so your physical cue to get her to do it is nice. So I would just try really hard to put that verbal command before it so it becomes a predictable pattern. Okay. So then she goes, every time you say, I think it's a round, Side. Side. Every time you say side, then you guide me around. So you say side and she just does it. Also, when we're doing an exercise like this, if every time she comes back to you, you guide her around in that position every single time, then that'll be her default behavior. Right. So that's a, why with my dogs, I always have them come back and flip into heel because I want that to be their default behavior for this exercise. Come right back into position, send. Come right back into position, send. So I don't have to mess around with any other additional adjusting or fixing. I'm working on a stay, a flip finish, and the send out all in, and a recall all in one exercise. Does that answer the question? Yeah, it does. And then you had a question? Yeah. Since Kevin brought up the question about the command to go out to the um, target, uh, the target uh, he asked about the command he can give. Whether You said search was okay, but it seems like if he's going to do like search like actual search and rescue or something, it will probably be, con be contradictory because this one is supposed to be the um, the send out. And if he uses this search command on the, send on the send out, it might be confusing to the dog. Only if there's specific commands that are required for the sport. So let's say for example, he was training to do AKC scent detection and they require that you say search or find it. Let's just use that as an example. Then that would be an issue. But if they say, use whatever command you want, it doesn't matter. That's why I said earlier, he could call this search and he can call searching run. <laughs> he could bring the dog out and go run and the dog will start searching. To a dog, it doesn't matter because our words mean to our dogs what they predict. Okay. So I had one student once that taught all her commands and colors for fun. So blue was sit, green was down, red was heel, 
perfectly fine because the dog learns what our words mean based on what they predict. So it shouldn't be confusing as long as Kevin can keep it separated in his head. Got it. Does that answer the question? Yes, it does. Thank good you. question. Good question. Because that is something that a lot of people ask in the comments. So that was a good question. Okay. Kevin! Yes, sorry. Good girl! Run! Good girl, Ari. Yes, That's Ari. Crazy. Good girl. Good job. Run. Go farther back. Okay. <laughs> good girl. And this should be good. Yeah. Run. Good girl, Ari. Good girl. Very nice. Good job. And so if you're working a dog like Ari that's getting really excited, uh -huh. do you mind if we switch? Yeah, yeah. You load, I'll send. Yes. And this is what uh, some of you are working on as well when you go to point and then you bring back. Yes, they look up at you. So they're only looking in the direction when you aim. If I hear whining, I'm not going to send her. Run. She was whining a little bit. <laughs> Good girl, come on, Ari. Yeah, she does. Run. Oh. Come on, Ari. <laughs> so yeah, try it again, but when you have her coming towards you, slow down and try to keep her straight in the heel position. She's a little crooked there. Okay. So I can adjust her. And this is one of the downsides of um, teaching your dog to bark as a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> so she sees barking as part of the play. So I pretty much can't correct Sit. it. Because I can't tell her to run. She barks and correct her for barking. It would confuse her. So if you do that in the beginning, you're going to end up with a dog like Wait, Ari that barks all the head. time. Run. Yes, Ari. Good girl. All right, let's do one more with her or maybe two more if you want. <sighs> Run! Good girl, Ari. All right, nice. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know what you think about it in the comments below and tag me at Nate Shomer so I can see the training that you've been doing with your dog at home. Thanks again for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next one.